I don't know why. I just like that. I think it's it looks more pretty. Just like it. Just likes it. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome to Stiver's Homestead. I'm Zach. And I'm Jim. And today I feel like we're beating a bush. <laughs> <laughs> we're canning again. We are. <laughs> and we're canning pickles again. Yeah. But these are dill and spicy. Yeah. So two different ones. So I did the bread and butter pickles and they're amazing. A lot of people are really enjoying them. I'm so glad y'all are doing them too. And then a lot of people asked if I would do a spicy or a dill pickle. And originally I said I'm not going to do a video because it's not my recipe. Um, I'll show you what it is, but I didn't come up with this. It's super simple, um, but it's something that everybody can have access to and everybody can do it. So I decided we would just go ahead and do it for those that are asking um, because a lot of people will want to be able to have access to dill too. I'm not a dill fan. He is. I am. So <laughs> um, I try to half and half it and right now we have half bread and butter, half dill pickles. So today we're going to make some more dill mm -hmm. for him and for you all. Yep. So I'll take you along the process. It's very simple. Anybody can do it. It's a we're gonna water bath. We're not gonna pressure can. But you can. Yes, you can pressure you can. Do either one here. Um, we're gonna water bath today just for the sake of time and energy. <laughs> but we're gonna show you how to do it, and you can do it too. So we hope you enjoy. Let's get at it. Okay. So the other day you saw me cutting up cucumbers, which is basically what I do every day. Um, our garden produces so many cucumbers and we absolutely love pickles and we love to give them away. So that's one of the major things that we can. So I cut up all the cucumbers into little probably quarter inch round, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. The size of the pickle that you like. Yes. So however, if you like them thin <laughs> or if you like them thicker, it's, it's really just whatever thickness you like. Yeah. So what you do is you cut up your cucumbers, you take off the ends, discard those, and you wash them really good, and then you put them into bowls, which I have two different bowls just because I had so much. Um, you put them into the bowls, and then you generously sprinkle kosher salt or canning salt all over the pickles. Now I added an onion too because we do like an onion in ours. Um, once you get all that salt on there, you toss it around, make sure all the, all the cucumbers are coated, and then you stick them in the fridge for two to four hours. Sometimes I do it overnight. It just kind of depends. But what this process does is it takes all the moisture off of those cucumbers. You can see all the water in the bottom, and then it makes them crunchy. So this is an important step. Um, there is you know things that you can do and not do but this step is important it has to be done it makes your pin pickles crunchy um, they retain that good crunch that everybody loves nobody likes a soggy pickle and I'll show you what we're gonna do next we're gonna rinse them all off you gotta rinse them real well I rinse them for about five minutes because you want to get all that salt off there you don't want them to be too salty um, if you're doing dill that has its own salt in there and if you're doing bread and butter you just don't want all that salt so it's an important step and you can also cut these any ways you want so I like some of them like this yeah what's that I don't remember that's like the side pickle and these are like for your sandwich pickles and you just do it however you want to want to cut them up that's right While you're rinsing and all that, and even before you're rinsing, you need to go ahead and get your water bath heating up and sterilize your jars. So we washed our jars, and now they're in this hot water. It's about to come to a boil. 
and they're all getting sterilized. Um, it's one of the most important parts to make sure all your jars are sterilized. Um, again, I have to say it, this is a canning video, so not everything I do might need to be what you do. You just need to check with your um, USDA online. You can get a canning ball book, any kind of canning book, and make sure you follow all the rules. I show them lightly because this is something that we do every day, but make sure that you do everything that you need to do for your area. All right, so while that's about to be done, I'm gonna go ahead and get my brine going. So this is what I'm using. First, we're gonna do the spicy pickles, which are also dill. They're spicy dill pickles. And then the next round, we're gonna do Polish dill. So they're not gonna be spicy. So this calls for the cucumbers, obviously. Uh, three fourths cup of white distilled vinegar. So we're gonna get that going. I've got my three fourths cups of vinegar. I'm gonna pour that in the pot. We're gonna get two cups of water. Two cups of water in. And then we're gonna put our spice packs. So this is Miss Wages. Um, you can find all different kinds, but this is our favorite. Miss Wages, you can find this at Walmart, Royal King, Tractor Supply, really anywhere. It's just a pretty common thing that people use. And this is what we do for spicy pickles and dill pickles, just because Zach's the only one that likes them. So, <laughs> um, it's real easy, but you can get it anywhere. And I'll tell you one thing, um, it will kind of take you out of the house. So it's got jalapenos in it, and once it starts heating up, it is spicy, and you can smell it, and it comes in your throat. So, where's my list? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm honestly thinking, maybe next year, since I am the only one that likes it, I'll try to, I'm gonna start playing with some recipes and see if we can make our own. I just really like this one, so that's why I haven't had a whole lot of a need to really want to do that. But because it's fun and we love making everything from uh, our own stuff. Um, next year, probably gonna be testing around and try to figure out my own, but for now, this does just fine. All right, so you turn it on high. Find that whisk. Gonna, I found it, well, that bit, <laughs> <laughs> it was hidden. <laughs> um, bring it to a boil and just kinda keep, oh. Oh, there it is. Oh, now that's gonna be Gosh. on my fingers. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Alrighty. So whisk it, bring it to the boil. <laughs> yes, and the one thing that's different about these from bread and butter is you are not going to put your pickles in your brine. You're not going to cook them. So the pickles are going to be packed into the hot jars and then this brine is going to be poured over top. So that's a different step. And to be honest, I actually like it that way and this sounds silly, but it's more of an eye thing. So when you put your pickles in the, uh, I'm following you. When you put it actually in the, the brine and it starts to cook, you're gonna lose that bright, crisp color. Nothing wrong with that. You just do because it's being kind of cooked out. When you do it this way and you put the brine over top of the pickles, it keeps that real bright color and, and it doesn't lose it in the, when it's canning either. So I, I don't know why. I just like that. I think it's, it looks more pretty. Like it. Just likes it. <laughs> All right, so pack your jars as tight as you can. We have five pints. I'm loving these. For Somebody this. sent these and they're wide mouth pints and they're really awesome. For this batch, you have a whole nother. Yeah, I have a whole nother batch to do, but this one is five pints for that bowl that I showed you and then I have the whole other bowl to do. So now we're gonna funnel the brine because it is boiling. It's time to funnel it into the jars. My nose is running, my throat's scratching, so that's why Zach's doing this. <laughs> Mine's kicking in high gear. Woo! The only problem with these wide mouth jars though, is the funnel doesn't fit real well when it's full. Yeah. So you just gotta be careful with that. It is so spicy smelling that you can feel it in your whole body. But they don't come out that spicy. No, nah, they're, they're so good, and y'all know I don't like a whole lot of heat. And I love these. My paper towel, um, I soaked it in vinegar here on the corner. We're gonna wipe all the rims clean. As you can see, there's a one, e one inch headspace on each one. That is a canning rule for everything you do. Make sure that you leave that one inch headspace. 
that's not really an option. And that's that's for the case of when it's in there canning and you're wet bathing or pressure can or whatever it is, uh, the water doesn't rise and make the lid pop off or anything along the lines of that. You want to keep that gap so there's no not that much pressure on the lid. There we go. Now we're going to put our lids on. Alright, so this is the second round of pickles. This bowl is a little bit bigger, so it might do six or seven pints. We'll see. And I'm just going through the same process again, rinsing all that salt off, letting them drain, and I gotta rinse them for quite a while. You don't want them to get too salty. If yeah. you if you don't rinse them real well, they're gonna be extremely salty. And the whole purpose of that salt was to pull out the moisture and provide the crispness. So you wanna make sure you get that all all that out as much as you can. But you're gonna have one extra yeah. salty pickle. And it, it, it doesn't look to y'all like I'm doing it, but I mean, it's it's about a five to 10 minute process. And you can taste them too um, as you're rinsing and just see where you're at and how much salt is left and how much longer you need to rinse. Yeah, but do not skip this and overdo it because you will not like your pickles if you don't. Mm -hmm. All right, Jen has got all seven of the remaining ones filled up tight. So we're gonna have a total of, how many jars we got over there? Five. Five, quick math, 12. We're gonna have 12 cans of pickles. So you're getting ready to start on the next brine, right? Yep, so we're doing the Polish dill pickles. Okay, so what we're doing to make sure that we get more brine, it asks for how much vinegar? One and a fourth cups. And how much water? One and three fourths cups. Okay, so that's half a cup more in water that it's asking for that. Uh, and the recipe. So what we're gonna do is three cups of water and two cups of vinegar. That's gonna keep the ratio okay to where there's still, there's not less vinegar than being asked for, if that makes sense. Uh, basically, if you're new to this, follow the recipe that's gonna be on there, um, but you wanna get the vinegar to water ratio right. We're doubling it, We you just kinda gotta do a little math in your head to make sure you do it right. Uh, but that's what we're gonna do for the Polish dill pickle one. This one's actually new, we actually haven't tried this one before. And to be 100% honest with you, I grabbed the spicy pickle packs and someone decided to throw this Polish dill behind the spicy pickle. So that's why we got that, because we were just gonna do two of the spicy pickles. It still smells a little bit spicy though. It smells. It still smells the same. Mm, that smells good, it smells more dill. Yeah. So that'll so, be yummy. We've got our vinegar in and we've got our water in and now we're putting in the spice pack and we're gonna bring this to a boil and stir just like the other one. Bomb diggity. Super simple. All right, we're finally to a boil in the water bath. So we're putting the first round of the spicy pickles in, which is five pints. And how about we gonna let that bad boy run? You're gonna let it water bath for 10 minutes. So. It's at a boil. When we put this back in here, the boil probably will drop for a second. Let it get back to a roaring bowl, and then count your timer on 10 minutes. All right. All Get right, they're in. You're gonna lower it. Slowly. Make sure our lids are completely covered, which they are, good deal. Put the lid back on, and bring it back to a boil. Once it hits that boil, process it for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. <laughs> all right, so the Polish dill pickle brine came to a boil and we filled up all of our jars with the brine, the same exact process. Now I've got my vinegar again on my paper towel. I'm gonna wipe all my rims. The other ones are almost done. And then we're gonna stick these in. And I did it that way just so I, I didn't get them mixed up. Yeah. The spicy in the dill. <laughs> Right, because you don't want to write on the lids till after they've sealed and it's been a day and then you can write them so this way we can separate them and know which is which. Yep. Got them bad boys wiped off. One more. Boom, lid time. All right, now we're going to put our lids on. Same exact way. Make sure they are fingertip tight. That's the rule for everything that you can.
All right, the first batch of spicy pickles is done. They boiled for 10 minutes at a roll and boil, and we're gonna get them out and let them cool. They're out on the table, and now the next five, the Polish dill pickles, are going in, and they process for 10 minutes as well. So same exact thing, put them in, make sure it comes to a boil, and then start your 10 minute timer. Down the hatchet. <laughs> Jars are still covered. Good deal. Bada boom. The others are now out. Last one's coming right now. So we did it. More pickles. <laughs> all kinds of pickles, but we all love them. And it's a great thing to have. They're also good to give away. So we've got all kinds. Um, we're going to do tomatoes, but we're not going to show you because we already have a video on that. So if you haven't seen that, go check out our Canon tomato video. But that's our next project. Um, but before that, we wanted to say a few things. I'm getting in here, my bad. You good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> okay, so um, in case you noticed, I wanted to say this at the beginning, but I forgot. So hopefully you made it all the way here and uh, you cannot miss this part. <laughs> but these packs both say refrigerator pickle mix on them. Yeah, the exact words, refrigerator pickle mix. <laughs> <laughs> so, that does not mean that you can't can. These are made for refrigerator, so you don't have to can these. It's for people that don't wanna go through the hassle of canning. You can do this same exact thing and skip the whole canning process and put these jars straight into the fridge. Um, they'll last for probably three to six months. Six months is your max. Yeah, um, and they're just fine that way. But they are also good for canning. Um, I've read the rules on it. We've done this for years now. And they are just fine for canning. If you want to add that process, there's nothing in here that makes it not safe to can. The or, ratio is the same. Yeah, the ratio is the same. So these are good for canning too. Um, you know, they're good either way, honestly. But we like to can. Now I do have... Oh, one sealed. <laughs> I do have some in the refrigerator that we did at the beginning of the year just because we kind of wanted to taste them and try them and make sure we could still do this and <laughs> that we were still good at it. Well, and um, we like to have about five or six in there because we'll eat those within six months, yeah. but not all of these. Yeah, but these are going to be put up and they're going to be good for a year or two. Um, my stepdad still has some that are on his shelf from two years ago and they're still good. That's at your discretion. I'm not telling you that officially. That's just, you know, you should Whatever you feel the most comfortable with. <laughs> yeah. We like to go a year. A year, honestly, is our comfortableness of max time. Yeah. But and it, if we still have some um, left over at that point, we'll start to give them away and um, try to clear out the shelves and so we can make room for the next year. That's but. usually the thing. It's not that we're scared of the can, it's we need to make more room because yeah. we'd rather have a whole bunch more. <laughs> yeah. But that's, that's the whole goal, right? Whatever you're doing now, to still see on your shelves a year from now. That's right. That's the sustainability that we like to have. Yep. Just to know that there is food in our house that we can eat. If, say, we I lost my job, you two went away, and yep. we needed some food. Yeah. So that's uh, that's the nice feeling. Um, we did grow every single one of these cucumbers in our garden. Um, I saw somebody ask uh, on a previous video how many plants it takes to kind of produce this amount. And I thought that was a really good question because that's something I had mm -hmm. at first time growing like, if we want to can this many, how many plants do we need to plant? Yeah. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, nine cucumber plants. We have four on our caterpillar trellises and we have five on our uh, pallet trellises. I say five because one just never made it. It didn't produce a single cucumber. So nine normal cucumbers, uh, they're mainly be it alphas. Yep. There's a couple Americanas. Armenians. They didn't produce much though. They didn't. Uh, so it's mainly the Beat Alphas. That's the only cucumber we're going to grow next year because they were just fantastic and most Baker's Creek or Hostels or something comes out with some, yeah. some wild variety that we just got to grow. Uh, but nine cucumbers put up. We just counted them. How many 28 cans? 28 jars of pickles. Yes. Which some are pints, some are quarts, and some cucumbers have been eaten fresh or put into salads. So. Yeah just to give you kind of an idea, and there will be more. Yeah, uh, we're it's not, not done. We're not nowhere near done, so um, yeah, you, you get a lot of cucumbers from a few plants, and you can do all this too, you can can it all. I'd probably say by, by the time our cucumbers die off, we'll probably have about 50 cans. Yeah, and no, about 11 more. You know, if we don't happen to use all this this year, all these pickles, 
it will be good that we don't have to grow or yeah we don't have to grow as many cucumbers next year because we will have pickles put up on the shelf already a lot of people so, do that yeah a lot of people do um you know a cucumber may not be our big crop next year mm -hmm. because we'll already have pickles yep. and if we don't it's fine because they don't take up hardly any room so um, that's just another thing to think about yeah so if you're in a smaller space but you're like i'm growing all these things but it's not enough to can um well next year when you're starting to plant out your garden <laughs> another one sealed um <laughs> do a lot less of different kinds so yeah. like just do cucumbers and tomatoes just maximize your garden with those two can all of that stuff and then next year you're gonna have tomatoes and cucumbers grow something different yep. that you want to can green beans and bean or you know, dry beans different stuff like that that way if you're if canning's what's on your mind and uh, just having them set back this way even in a small garden you can do what we're doing here that's right so, I think that's. I think that's it. For that's today. my long-winded spill. <laughs> so this is our dill pickles. No, it's not a big fancy recipe. It's, dill pickle and spicy pickles. Yes, dill Hopefully pickle. Hopefully you enjoyed them both. Yeah, I love the spicy. These Polish dills will be the first time we had them, but if I had to guess, it'll probably just taste like a dill pickle. Yeah. Um, but I like the spices because I like a little heat. Um, so I hope you all enjoy that too. Jen's out here just rocking the cannon left and right. I'm just getting the jars out of the water. Uh, don't forget to label. Yes. Don't label them until. No, no one just did it. Don't label them. Wait a few days because they take a while to seal. You don't want to make a false seal by pushing down with your marker or label or whatever. Um, and just don't forget to label them because you might forget what they are. Yeah. I always try to label. What it is and date. Yes, date. I usually do the month and the year. So like everything I'm canning this month is going to have 8-19. So I know that came from August 2019. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Until the next one. We love y'all. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this one. It felt redundant to us, but I know a lot of people requested it, so hopefully it was informational and. Well, hopefully. your bread and butters you only did refrigerant. Yeah. That's you didn't true. even show how to can them, that's so true. there's. It's not redundant. <laughs> it's spicy and it's dill and it was canned. That's right. <laughs> All right next time you see us, we might not be in the kitchen. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. We love y'all. Have a great day. Until the next one. Bye.